One of my favorite parts of the river. The Osceola Landing is a busy landing, but primarily for people coming from Taylor's Falls to Osceola. Uh, they, a lot of them get out there and then you can just put in there and be off and it's a lot quieter on that stretch. Uh, the scenery on the Wisconsin side is fantastic. There are big, high sandstone bluffs there that are uh, gorgeous. And if you catch them at sunrise or sunset, it would be beautiful, beautiful area. Um, continuing down, there are a lot of campsites on both sides of the river, and the Swing Bridge is a, a beautiful spot, and it's uh, often photographed. And uh, it's an old bridge that is still used by the um, train that serves between Osceola and uh, Marine on St. Croix. Uh, there's an alternative takeout spot called Log House Landing. It's not one for motorized craft. It's uh, canoes and kayaks. Continuing down, you get close, closer to William O'Brien State Park, and there's a, a sign telling you to take a right in, to go into the channel that goes to the park. You can't miss it. Um, if for some reason you don't want to go to William O'Brien, of course you can go the other way, but you would miss some beautiful scenery along William O'Brien too, because there's this uh, maybe 10 foot high sandstone cliff that runs all the way along the park with beautiful white pines popping out all over, and it's a popular area for people to walk too, so you'll probably see some folks along there.